are hateful speech. I don't really want to wear that t-shirt because of that reason. But, um, that's probably the only reason why I would not buy it. Second reason is because you don't know if the company is actually legitimate. Some people have gotten t-shirts from there, but it's just like, you know, it's not really trustworthy yet. They only have 315 people liking their Facebook page. I don't know. It's it's weird to think about. I mean, they have they made a soundtrack which was funny. <laughs> it was actually a pretty good soundtrack. I love the music. It was like an acoustic acoustic. I'm, I'm not even sure if I'm saying that right. An acoustic. I think that's right. Acoustic guitar and a man solo singing. It was pretty good. I liked his vocals. I like the guitar. It sounded pretty good. They're short and simple songs and that's all you need. <laughs> if you have a catchy song and it's quite short and to the point, I like it. Don't even... <sighs> Damn it. The very first song was pretty awesome. It was like, uh, how'd it go? I think it was titled I Don't Need to Be Saved or something like that. It was probably their best song from that soundtrack. But I would say uh, it'd probably be best if you kept that song halfway through the soundtrack. Because other people won't listen to the first four or five songs. They'll actually only listen to that one song, which is okay. But you know, if you want, if you worked pretty damn hard on other songs and you want them to listen to it, then you probably want, you know, you want everyone to listen to your songs and give it a chance and to see what people actually think of your songs. I wonder if I can blow this up and kill him. Let's see. Come back. He's not coming back. Fuck. There's a guy back here. Oh, damn it. It also doesn't help when you have a white camo. It's not awesome. It really isn't. And no, I probably won't make a walk through the campaign. That's just me. I don't like the campaign. I think it's kind of terrible. Um... Of course, it's a Call of Duty game. You're not going to understand the story very easily. That was an assist. What I don't like is the fucking flashing lights that a lot of games have so much. It's fucking annoying. I don't want to get epilepsy. I don't know if it's possible to get epilepsy from flashing lights. I don't know if it's born thing. Like you need to get, you need to be born with it. I don't know. I don't fucking like it, it's annoying, and it hurts my eyes. It was rather sad to see a Call of Duty game do that so much. You can't even pay attention to the loading screens, you're just looking away because it hurts your eyes. Or you're just going to have to sit back and hopefully, and hope that it won't hurt your eyes. You know, it's just rather... FUCK! It's just rather sad to see a game would actually do that. It was like a good franchise, but you know, it's terrible. Terrible cutscenes. Plus, I would have to sit through them. And I would have to not pay attention because I would be looking the other way. Because I'm sitting like one foot away from my monitor. So probably the only thing I have to say about the campaign. I'll probably do zombies. I was thinking about doing a special video on zombies because I know some people like zombies. I'm not like the biggest fan of zombies on Black Ops. It's still kind of good, you know. It's okay. It's not the best. But I might do it. Might do it after this one. Just for fun make a special video and you know <laughs> upload that 
Now I'm really thinking about doing it. I think I'll do it after this match. It's a pretty damn good match so far. People will get on their game. This would be a better match. Bullshit. Yeah! Exactly. I unloaded on that guy and he didn't die. I don't get it. It's like sometimes it feels as if they have more health than they need. That's how Black Ops goes. You play Modern Warfare 3, it's fine. Play World at War, it's also fine. You know, the killing thing, but... I don't know. Oh, I made a joke to myself yesterday. Um, I was thinking about how to combat if someone said the video games are simulators and they were saying that, you know, let me get this guy, damn it. Oh, it's a helicopter, okay. They were saying that, you know, uh, Grand Theft Auto was a simulator for, you know, to do something bad in real life. And I was just thinking, how is that even possible for a game to be a simulator unless it's an exercising game? So I made a joke and said, yeah, it's a simulator. I mean, when you go to the gun store, you can just purchase any gun you want for free. You know, if you have the money, you can might, might as well purchase like three assault rifles, four Uzis, five pistols, uh, body armor. You can buy that little police logo so you have lower uh, threat to the police. You know, it's just like, it's, it's awesome. I mean, I could run to the gun store. It's, it'd be a long ride, I can tell you that. I know where it is, but it'd be a long ride. But I could go in there and I would spend like $10,000 on guns and get them for free the first day. Even though I don't have a license for a gun, I could go purchase one. And I fucking hope that someone thought I was being sarcastic, because I am. <laughs> oh. Yes, in the game you can run. Oh fuck. You can go into the gun store and purchase whatever you want for free. I, what, what, by mean, by what I mean by free is that, you know, it doesn't take much time. It just takes money. Um, there is a headshot. There's a challenge. Oh, that was 20 kills. How many headshots? Oh, there it is. Okay. What was the other headshot? Or. <laughs> What was the other contract? I can't remember. But anyways, in real life, you have to actually go through a lot of steps in order to get a gun. You have to wait a long time. I'm not sure how long, because I haven't never done this. I probably will do it in the future, but not like this time, because I don't, I don't have a safe. I don't have room for a safe. You need to get background check. Possibly a drug test. I don't know if they implement that into purchasing guns. You need to do the background check probably first. And then, you know, they make you wait like three weeks or so. I think they upped it to, what, six weeks? It, it can't be that long, can it? I heard six. Anyways, you have to wait some time. You can't just go in and purchase whatever you want. If you want to purchase ammo, that's probably a different story because you probably have your own gun. But I'm not really sure what their policy is on. Oh, nice. <clears throat> I don't know what their policy is on purchasing ammo. I know that my grandpa can go to the <coughs> gun store, purchase ammo for the 22, which is a fun rifle to shoot. If anyone has never tried it, it's quite fun. It doesn't kick. Kicking, like guns that kick, is probably like. Uh, a fear of mine because you have no idea how hard it kicks you don't know if it's like a really badass gun but anyways 22 is my favorite quite fun to practice with at a gun range hope no one confuses that with anything and it's over thank you guys for watching I think I'm going to make the zombie special in a little bit Ugh, I'm so fucking tired <sighs> Oh, famous.
Cool. I know if a moss, I don't care. Cold efficiency. Oh, that's. Oh, I didn't do that? Oh, whatever. I probably died more than kills. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and. Uh... I'll see you guys later.